check this out. Look at all this stuff. That's, look at that, that's Spaceship One. That's the first aircraft to go into outer space, but not sent into space by NASA. A private individual did that. But I got something really cool to show you here. Check this out. This is Hangar X. This is where all the fun stuff is. But we gotta get in first. So we put in our secret code. Put our hand down. You may now enter. So let's go check it out. Look at all of this stuff. Everything here is interactive, which means you can play with it. Look at this. Follow me. All this information. You can learn this here at EAA. This whole museum is meant for you to learn and find out all the cool stuff. Like this vehicle was 62 feet long, had a wingspan of 44 and a half feet. Check this out though. You can get it. Push the buttons. This is so cool. Just like the cockpit in these airplanes, there's all types of screens and buttons, and every one of these buttons does something different. Let's go check out some other things. Look at that. This is the power plant. This is what makes the jet fly through the air. When you push this button, it pulls air in here and spins these turbines and heats up and shoots the air out the back in a compressed form. So then it pushes the jet. That's neat. Oh, look at this over here. This is wing flap up, wing flap down, landing gear up, landing gear down. So when you do this, you gotta have pressure. See how when I do this, the wing flap over there goes up and down. Now let's see here. Oh, if you look on this side, over here, the landing gear goes up and down. And it uses pressure. I'm making that do that. Same with the wing flap. All right, let's go see what else we can. Okay. This is all kinds of stuff. There's more here that you could do then in one trip, there's even a thing where you can simulate a hurricane. This right here. This is showing how airplane pilots that do special stunts and loops. This one is called a snap roll on top of a loop. So he comes in with the light blue. See how it goes up? He starts into a loop and near the top of the loop, he flips over. Then he starts to come back down and out of the loop. That's cool. Check this out. The Kid Venture Gallery. All kinds of simulators and cool stuff to do. Oh, I see my favorite. Let's go. This is a hang glider simulator. This pretends like you're in a hang glider. So let's see. We sit in it, we put our hands in. Now the screen, you pretend. So we're gonna push this button, we're gonna take off. 
And see how if I push back, I go up. If I pull down, I go down. I can go left and I can go right. Oh, I landed on top of this mountain, so we want to avoid that this time. So let's try it again. I'm shooting for that one that's way off in the distance. See, there's a red bullseye down there on the ground. That's where I want to try and get to. I was 169 feet from being the center of the target, which I wanted. But it takes practice, just like the people when they fly these for real. It takes lots of practice. Look at this over here. This one, you pretend to fly a hot air balloon. So we're going to push the start button. Let's see here. Make sure. Okay, all right, this one just landed, so we're going to give it a second. There we go. All right, so to make hot air balloons go up, it says to press the start button. To go up, you heat the balloon by pressing the burner level. And to go down, you let the balloon cool, or you pull on the vent rope like this, which pretends to open up the flap in the top. So let's see. And if you look, all of the gauges are on here. Now there's some targets over there. But the thing is, is with the hot air balloons, you have to go where the wind takes you. So you have to pay attention which way you go, at what height. So let's see what happens when I let off of the burner. Now, we're going the wind, if you'll notice, the wind is taking us. Look over here in this corner. See that? That's our balloon. There's a target that we're trying to go towards. So, let's see here. I'm going to pull on the cord a little bit. See, I'm out of fuel, which means I burned out all the stuff. So you have to do a little bit at a time. Didn't know that. We learned by doing these. Now, if we let out, let's see if I pull on this.
and I hold it down, see, I'm starting to go down. So let's see here. This is cool. And you go through and you fly this and you learn to deal with your fuel and to go up and down. Let's see what, check this out. These are robot arms. Let's see here. pick up a ball using a robot hand. What else we have? Have you ever seen a helicopter? They fly in all different kinds of directions, but unlike an airplane, they can stop in one place. But to do that, you gotta be really, really cool. Look at this. You see there's a helicopter in the bottom. So what the object here is to get that red ball to sit on top of that red and yellow dot. And you do that by pulling on this handle and changing the direction of everything. And you want to, there we go, almost. Look at that. Oh, now I want to go back. You see how the ball goes back and forth when the table moves, just like the helicopter. There we go. Got it. So, as we look around, there's so much stuff you can do here. You can make your own wind over there. You can fly a little simulator over here. But there's so much stuff you can do that we can't put it all. So come on out and check it out. I might see you here because I like to come here. I also bring my grandkids and we have fun. Check this out, kids. This right here has different sounds that you might find around airplanes and helicopters or maybe on an airport. So like a propeller starting. A propeller is that thing on the front of an airplane or inside of the jet engine, but it goes around and around. But let's listen. Ooh, a jet passing overhead. Aircraft dive. Oh, that's when an aircraft is going. Wait a Now here's one. You don't see them a lot, but you find them out there. That's not an airplane. Yes, it is. <laughs> Believe it or not, there's an airplane just like the bug called a mosquito. That's the sound it makes. Ooh, what does this say? What is it? Let's see. What did you say that was? You're right. It was an airplane flying overhead. That's good. Now let's check this out. This one is called pedal power. How much thrust can you generate? Thrust is when something wants to go one way and you do something that makes it go another way. But check this out. We're gonna sit here. There's a propeller. We're gonna put our feet right here. And we're gonna pedal. And look. Oh! And I can feel the wind coming off of the propeller. 
And the harder I push, the harder it goes. Now, that's just here on the ground. But believe it or not, there's people out there right now that are flying these special airplanes that are really, really light, but they don't have an engine. They just have pedal power. There's even versions where you can do the same thing. And I can feel the wind all the way over here. Isn't that cool? What's this? There's all kinds of stuff here. Look around, the world's busiest airport at least one day a year. Here at the EAA, for one week out of the year, they have a special day, or special week, where there's planes from all over the world that come out here, and for that little time, this little airport in the middle of Wisconsin becomes the busiest airport in the world. That says a lot. So, hopefully, come out, check it out. Maybe I'll see you here because I live right down the road. Take it easy. Bye now. heading out, but I want to look around a bit. They have a gift shop here. I might have to find something for one of my grandkids. But this time of year, look at this. They even have Christmas ornaments. And then all kinds of stuff. Decorations or stuff for you to put in your living room. Here's something you might not know. The EAA stands for Experimental Aircraft Association. They don't just have the gift shop and the museum, but pilots learn from here. They get their books. Check this out. There's all kinds of books on how to fly and what makes them fly. Even books on how to get certified as a pilot. Flight testing a home-built aircraft. Did you know that you could actually make an airplane in your garage? And all these books are what are needed to learn how to fly an airplane. But the books you probably want to see are right over here. Violet the Pilot. That one's really cool. I like that one, especially because of her dog. And then you got Macy's Plane, a bunch of those. Claire Bear flies to Oshkosh. But there's all kinds of books. We'll have to see one day I'll get one. Maybe read it. Look at these. If you watch the movies, you got the pilots with their nice jackets in the military. They have those. And have more pedal cars. Well, kids, I gotta get out of here. Today's mission 
to be an inspiration to the young people all over the world, encouraging them to follow their passions and find their place in the sky. EAA is for everybody to learn and come to love flying. So, make it point to come out here and visit. See you later. Thank you.